As the Foundation 5 has been released, it includes great new features and also new modules that makes this package a great tool for any design office. This is Javier Encinas and today we're going to review all the modules included in this new package of ASDIP Foundation 5. Let's get started. Here we can see all the modules included in the package. Spread footings, strap footings, combine footings, wall footings, pile caps, and pile analysis and design. This is a new module in this package. I have created a set of examples so that we can quickly overview the benefits and features of each uh, module in this package. Let's open the example calculation for a spread footing. Double click on the tree. And this is the template for a spread footing in ASDIP Foundation. Here in the geometry tab, you enter all the information regarding the dimensions, the footing, and the column. In the loads tab, the loads can be a single set of pre-combined loads. And in this case, we specify service and factor loads, or can be a set of nominal load cases, and as it will combine them internally. In the material tab, all the material properties for the footing for the soil. And then in the reinforcement tab, you enter the information regarding the rebars for footings and for the columns. In the right pane, the at a glance shows a summary of the results. Here you can see immediately if something is failing, as in this case, so that we can immediately identify what the problems are and we can correct them. The Condense tab is a more detailed set of calculations, grouped by topic and uh, load combination. We go to the Detail tab, it's a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, with exposed formulas and also with references to the ACI code. We go to the Graph tab, the soil bearing tab. We can see here the bearing diagram. In this case, it's a partial bearing. The blue area is in contact with soil. We go to the one-way shear tab. One-way shear calculation in both directions, in X and in Z. Punching. Punching shear around the column. Bending. These are the moments around Z and around X. All this can be sorted by load combination. And finally, the construction tab. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open the calculation for a strap footing. Let's double click on the example. And this is the template for a strap footing design in NASDIP Foundation. Similarly, in the geometry tab, you enter all the geometric information for the footings, for the strap beam, and for the columns. We go to the loads tab. Here we enter also the load, similarly to the previous module material properties for the footings, for the strap beam, for the columns, and for the soil. We go to the reinforcement tab. Here there are multiple visual controls to specify the rebars for the exterior footing and for the interior footing. In the strap beam, also here we specify the rebars, the top and bottom for the strap beam, and finally for the columns. We click on the at a glance tab it's a summary of the results. In the Condense tab, it's a more detailed set of calculations, grouped by topic. We go to the Detail tab, a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, exposed formulas, references to the ACI code. Graphically, we can see the soil bearing diagrams in elevation view and in plan view. Let's go to the Diagrams tab. Here we can see the strap beam shear diagram and moment diagram. In the columns, we can see the interaction diagrams for both exterior and interior columns or pedestals. Finally, the construction tab. Please note that in the loads tab, we have added out of plane loads to this module. In the previous version, we had only in plane loads. Now we can specify out of plane loads as well. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open a calculation for a combined footing. And this is a template for a combined footing design in NASDAQ Foundation 5. Similarly, in the geometry tab, we enter all the geometric information for the footing and for the columns. The loads tab, again, we have added here out of plane moments and shears. Material tab the material properties for the footing, for the columns, and also for the soil. In the reinforcement tab, 
There are visual controls to specify the rebars for the footings and also for the columns. In the right pane, the at a glance tab shows a summary of the results. In the context tab is a more detailed set of calculations grouped by topic. If we go to the detail tab, it's a more detailed set of calculations step by step, grouped by topic with exposed formulas and also with references to the ACI code. Graphically, go to the graph tab, in the soil bearing tab, we see the soil bearing. Please note that all these modules consider either full bearing or partial bearing. Finally, in the construction tab, we can see a plan view and elevation view with the rebars well, that we just specified. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open a calculation for a wall footing. Here in the geometry tab, you enter the geometric properties for the footing and for the wall. In the reinforcement tab, some controls to specify the rebars for the footing and for the wall. In the right pane, the at a glance tab shows a summary of the results. In the condensed tab, more detailed set of calculations. Finally, in the construction tab, we can see here the section view and plan view of final design. Now let's go back to the project manager. Let's open a calculation for a pie cap. And this is the pie cap design template in Adip Foundation. Here in the geometry tab, you enter the number of piles and the properties for the piles, pile cap, and for the column. In the loads tab, similarly, you enter the information uh, applied at the top of the pedestal. In the materials tab, you enter the material properties for the piles, for the pile cap, and for the column. Finally, in the reinforcement tab, if there are some graphical controls to specify the rebars. In the right pane, the at a glance tab shows a summary of the results. In the detail tab, some more detailed set of calculations, step by step. We go to the graph tab. Graphically, we can see the pile reactions sorted by load combination, punching shear calculations, bending design, the construction tab. Let's go back to the project manager. This is a new module in ASDIF Foundation 5. Let's open the calculation example. And this is the template for a pile analysis and design in ASDIP Foundation. Here in the geometry tab, you enter the geometric information for a concrete pile, the diameter, then the bell at the tip, and the pile length. Also, the head can be either free or fixed. In the materials tab, in the soil tab, we can specify up to four layers of soil. All this information is available in the soils report. In the right pane, the at a glance tab shows a summary of the results. In the condensed tab, a more detailed set of calculations, the lateral analysis, and then the reinforcement design according to the ACI. Please note that in the program, we can specify the seismic provisions. If we click on show parameters, here we can specify also the seismic design category of the project and the site class. The detail tab shows a more detailed set of calculations. The lateral analysis tab shows a table with the pile depth at every two feet, showing also the shear at that point and the moment and, def and deflection. Graphically, we can see also this information here. This is the shear force along the pile. This is the moment diagram. And this is the deflection. The program also generates the interaction diagram for the pile. Finally, the construction tab shows a pile elevation. As you can see, as the Foundation 5 includes a set of tools that are very useful in any structural design office. If you like the software, please visit the website asdipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.